How you doing? I'm Foy. Good, Colin. Colin, good to meet you, man. Good to meet you, man. Welcome to Muscle Shoals Sound. Jimmy and Flowery Rosie, head out on the sea. We are the only yeah. one of the historic Muscle Shoals studios that is actually open to the public full time, six days a week for tours. And we're also still an active studio. So this uh, studio was originally opened in 1969 by the Swampers, who were a group of session players. Started out working at Fame Studio down the road. Played on Aretha Franklin, Wilson Pickett, Etta James. Uh, 1969, they decided to partner up and open their own studio here. Didn't the Stones do Wild Horses here? They did. Brown Sugar, You Gotta Move, and Wild Horses. All recorded here. Uh, basically, the way you see the place set up now is just like it would have been back then. This guitar is completely one of a kind. It was built by Gibson in Nashville as a gift to the state of Alabama. So, uh, Sweet Home Alabama's probably been played on this? Probably two or three times a day. Roger Hawkins actually was the drummer on a lot of the earliest Muscle Shoals records. This is Roger right here. He played on, uh, you know, Percy Sledge, When a Man Loves a Woman. This is one of the first and one of the biggest hits that came from Muscle Shoals. Went number one in worldwide in 1965. We'll move on to the control room. This was originally in Nashville in RCA's Studio B. There in Nashville, it was used to record Elvis, Johnny Cash, Roy Orbison. All went through this body. desk? Yes, sir. Do you think rooms have energies? I think they do. And this one has a good energy, a very good energy.